Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa met today with Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and the United Arab Emirates Vice President, Prime Minister and Dubai ruler Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum in the Endurance Village in the Windsor Castle on the occasion of His Majesty the King's visit to Royal Windsor Horse Show. His Majesty welcomed Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, expressing thanks and appreciation for the invitation to attend the race, noting the deep-rooted history and culture of both kingdoms. His Majesty the King, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, and Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid held discussions regarding the Bahrain, UK, and UAE historic relations, based on mutual respect and joint coordination in all fields. They also discussed the importance of these shows in spreading the sport in local and international circles. His Majesty met with the Duke of York, Prince Andrew, the former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, David Cameroon, Lord Les Astor, Minister of State at the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, Sir Alan Duncan, Commander, Royal Military Academy, Sandhurst, General Paul Nansen. They also discussed the historical and friendly relations connecting Bahrain and the United Kingdom in all fields and development of these relations. Rupert Goodman presented to His Majesty the King a book marking 200 years of the Bahrain-UK relations and His Majesty thanked him for the gift. His Majesty the King and Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II witnessed a part of the 120-kilometer international equestrian race in which a number of riders from Bahrain took part led by the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee and leader of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Team, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Riders from the UAE, Gulf countries and Europe also took part in the race. After that, His Majesty the King bid Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II farewell. Upon arriving to the Endurance Village, His Majesty was received by His Highness Sheikh Nasser and senior officials and organizers of the race. Sheikh Nasser briefed His Majesty about the phases of the race and the participating riders. His Majesty praised the efforts exerted by Sheikh Nasser to promote this popular sport. He noted the role of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Team and its keenness on participating in various regional and international championships. He also hailed the achievements of Bahraini riders who have reflected a positive image of the kingdom in this domain. His Majesty affirmed that Bahrain, represented by the Royal Team, aspires for the success of the Windsor Equestrian Festival through participating effectively in its various competitions. He noted that taking part in such championships and competitions reflects the development of the equestrian sports in the kingdom, as well as its many achievements in commercial, economic, cultural, and athletic fields. His Majesty added that hosting such promotional equestrian festivals emphasizes the importance of this sport. And the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, led the Royal Equestrian Endurance Team participating in the 120-kilometer race for the Royal Windsor Horse Show. The festival also included participation of equestrians from Bahrain, UAE, Saudi Arabia, Belgium, Spain, among other countries. This is the team's fifth consecutive participation in the race, which is sponsored by Bahrain. Bahrain participated with seven equestrians in the 120-kilometer race and one equestrian in the 80-kilometer race, who made sure to present a steady and advanced level amidst competitors. His Honor Sheikh Nasser affirmed the Royal team's keenness to participate actively in the tournament and achieve positive results, noting that the establishment of the endurance race was the result of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to support and spread the sport across the world.